All right, reading the treble clef. So a few basics before we try to actually read them on the staff. We need to determine our musical alphabet. So our musical alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and that's it, no H. Once you get up to G, you can always go back to A, but this is your musical alphabet, just like in the real alphabet, but it's only that many letters. Now, when you are going up or down a note, the same way we count our lines and our spaces from the bottom up, our notes go from low to high. As you go up on your staff, the pitch will get higher. As you go down, the pitch will get lower. So those are just a few things to keep in mind. Now we have two kinds of notes. We have our line notes and we have our space notes. For now, I'm just going to um, draw whole notes. I'm not putting in measures. Um, it's just so you can see where it is on the staff. So please don't let that confuse you. I'm just using all whole notes for right now. Um, forgetting about the measure lines, just so we can see where our notes lie. Let's start with our line notes. You can have five line notes because there are five lines. Your first line note is right here. Your second line note is here. Third line note, one, two, three. Fourth line note, one, two, three, fourth line. And your fifth line note, one, two, three, four, five, or top, whatever works for you. Now, I'm gonna write directly inside here the note names. And again, you go from the bottom up, and we're going alphabetically, but right now we're going line by line, so it's not gonna go directly in order. We always start on E. First line, bottom line, whatever you want to call it, is E. Second line, G. Third, B. Fourth, D. And fifth, F. E, G, B, D, F. Now they don't go in order because there are space notes in between. If we went up alphabetically, we have B, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. But it's a lot harder to read music that way than to do it this way and recognize, oh, is it a line note or is it a space note? So for these five notes, we recognize that they are lined notes. The easiest way to remember them, called a mnemonic device, something that helps you remember, I like every good boy does fine. First letter of every is E, good is G, bird, or boy, bird does fly, boy does fine, whatever you want to do. Bird does fly. Every good bird does fly. And that is how you can remember your line notes. You should be able to think of a sentence that helps you, and not one that's super weird, because the weirder they are, the less likely you are to remember it. Every good bird does fly is kind of you know, not all that exciting, but it will stick in your brain. So I highly recommend something that will stick in your brain. For space notes, on the treble clef, they're pretty easy because space rhymes with face. Your first space note is F. Your second space note is A. Sorry, you can't see that, it's a little far away. Your third space note is C, and your fourth, fourth space note is E, F-A-C-E, face. And again, if you put them all together, you are in alphabetical order. Starting at the bottom, you're not starting at the beginning of the alphabet, but you can start anywhere in your alphabet as long as you go in order and always loop back to the beginning. So E, F, G, and you could have A here, B, you could have C here, D, E here, and F all the way at the top. They just go in alphabetical order. And that is how you read your space notes and your lined notes on the treble.